Right now, you have direct access, right? Mm -hmm. My man, so what do we say? You need an idea and an iPhone. Uh huh. Idea and an iPhone. All you need is an idea and an <laughs> iPhone, and you can make some money. I asked you who were some of your inspirations, and you told me. And um, and I just like the fact that you're giving financial advice in our own voice. Sure. You know, a voice that we can understand when we read your books. We can understand, understand. what you're saying. And you you know the struggle. You're not coming from, yeah, I'm from a I'm place. From the, I'm from the projects. <laughs> I just, I just want to be clear. Like, I, you know, single parent home. Okay. Youngest of three. Oh, you was a little hood rat right, ass. I mean, cash. you know, you know, that's, that's, that's just, it can come with it. But, <laughs> you know, you know, thank, thank God for grace. You know what I'm saying? And, that's and, right. You know, and, but, uh, but yeah, so, so, you know, it's, it's funny because the Honorable Sean Carter once said, there's much bigger <laughs> issues in the world I know, but I first had to take care of the world I know. And that's why I do what I do. Oh, wow. And you told me you also wrote a book um, about Jay-Z. Tell us about that. Yeah. And your other books. Nah, for sure. So when, and when I heard the 444 album, um, a lot of people were focused on Jay's infidelity to Beyonce, which right. is only 20% of the album. The other 80% of the album, he's telling you don't go to strip clubs, focus on credit, you know, buy, buy buildings, create generational wealth. So he was yes. giving the game, right? A million dollars worth of game for $9.99. Um, and so I just felt, you know, I just felt compelled as a financial educator to not let that go over people's heads. Um, and so I wrote a book called The Wake Up Call, um, you know, financial inspiration learned from 444. Um, and so that book is available, uh, the444book.com uh, or on Amazon as well. But it's really just breaking down, you know, what does it take for us in our community to build generational wealth right. uh, and, you know, you know, break out of the cycle of, of living paycheck to paycheck. That's right. And there was a topic that I asked you about off air yes. with them um, <laughs> basically saying that the uh, money, the wealth, the um what we're going to have as a people in 2050 is going to be yeah. zero. zero. And yeah. I'm like, wait, hold on now. We got to do something fast. Yeah. Do you think that there is a possibility that that can happen? Yeah, no no chance no chance in the world, right? And so what happens is the, the, the article says that if things remain the same, and they're looking at data and they're saying if things remain the same, that the wealth in the African-American community will be uh, at zero by 2053. But what happens is if you're looking at what's happening in the African-American American community, things are not staying the same. You think about black women are are are, are we doing it right, though. doing it big, starting businesses. Uh, you think about you know the conversations that are happening uh, around real estate, uh, around wealth building. Yes. You know, you know, I have I have programs, and I'm I'm speaking to us every day, and I'm and I'm looking at w where people are and what and what their mindset is. Um, so I don't believe it. You know, I I think that um, we have to be careful uh, what narratives we are sharing, mm -hmm. um, and I think. Think that a lot of times people want things to remain the same but at the end of the day we have consciousness now now we're understanding that this is the easiest time for anybody to become a millionaire say what the easiest time that's ever existed you think about back in the day you you go you go ancient times you had to you had to know the king or the queen in yes. order to get some money you fast forward to 10 20 years ago you have to have either had money or you had to uh, have a store like a brick and mortar. Right now, you have direct access, right? Mm -hmm. My man, so what do we say? You need an idea and an Start iPhone. Uh huh. Idea and an iPhone. All you need is an idea and an <laughs> iPhone, and you can make some money. And so, this is the easiest time for us to make money, to change our relationship with money, to become millionaires, to to, to break out the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. But we just got to be intentional, though, right? You That's can't right. only be on your iPhone looking at people's timelines. You got to. <laughs> figure out you know what skill do you have and how can you turn that skill into a business but again that but people are doing that and so mm -hmm. that narrative i don't i don't agree with the narrative at all that's right stop being distracted yes. and focus like it's, it's definitely time to focus a lot of people want better so you got to do better Absolutely. and with that being said um <laughs> there's a, a couple of different ways i can go with this because we talked about you know investing in 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 rap dreams yes. And I just think that it would be, a, a, honestly, a poor decision. Mm. I mean, to just invest in something like the music industry. For sure, for sure. Absolutely. It don't love Especially nobody. Because it's, because it's saturated, though, right? So if you of understand course. business, there's a law of supply and demand. Right. And and so now, right now, we have more supply than we have demand. Right. And so if, if there's more supply than there are demand, that means it lessens the value of the, the, of the property. I'll give you a prime example just so people can understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The reason why when... The 
the Nikes put out Jordans. Mm -hmm. Those Jordans, they could price them high because the, the supply is low. Right. Right. There's, there's not a million, uh, you know, there's not a million pairs of, of Jordans out there. There's a, a limited amount. And so because of that limited amount, the demand is high because the supply is low. Right. And so the price could go up. But when you have a lot of supply, then the, the demand is not going to be as high and then the price is going to be low. That's right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And so so when you think about rappers, there's more rappers than there's people listening. Right. And so, <laughs> and, and so, and so if you invest in a rapper like like that, like everybody raps, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my grandmother raps. You know, and I just want to say, girl, do not let him take your tax oh, refund do to fund his mixtape or his new single. Don't do it. Right. You can tell him I said it. Be mad. Let him be mad at yes. me. Okay? <laughs> all right. So before you get up out of here, Ash Cash, first of all, thank you thank so you much for being here once again. Um, can you tell us about the one-on-one sessions yes. that you do? Yeah. So so my intention for two, uh, for 2020 is to help 2,020 families and individuals become net worth positive. Yeah. Um, and so I created a program called the Mind Right Legacy Builders Program uh, where I'm doing one-on-ones. I'm giving you 12 steps to financial freedom. Uh, it's through videos, it's through online courses, but then you actually get a one-on-one -on -one with me and I and I create a financial game plan for you. Um, and so if you go to mindrightlegacy.com, uh, you can sign up for the program. Actually, if you uh, use the keyword abundance, you'll actually get a discount as well. So you can definitely come check me out there. You better speak those keywords. Yes, yes, These yes. are keywords. I hope you guys oh, absolutely. were taking notes. Absolutely. And for anyone that wants to follow you yes. that's not, you know, can't write down the website yep. and all of that info, how can they reach you? Yeah, so my you know my website very easy. I am ashcash.com or you can follow me on all social media platforms. I'm most active on Instagram, um, and that's I am Ash Cash. All right, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I hope you come back. Yes, anytime. All right, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station. It's Hot One Seven Nine. Hot One Seven Nine is all over the ATL and in the community. ATL save the date and celebrate love at the National Center for Civil and Human Rights on Friday, February Fourteenth, Valentine's Day.